uh, that is just from uh, in passing while we were, we were waiting for coffee. So, um, yeah, no, this, this, this is going to be interesting. This is the sort of uh, still three rounds to go today. This is, this is the gut check time for, for <laughs> these guys coming off. Uh, switching back to playing their uh, constructed decks. Here we have the roll off. Concentration levels um, at this point in the day because um, it is, it is, it's twenty to five um, yeah. uh, in New Zealand. So it almost it's early evening. It's yeah. almost early evening now. So concentration levels are going to be really tough for yeah. you know. No matter how good you are, um, you've got to be on top of that now. Um, and this and this is where like uh, someone like Kale who has been. Uh, you know, a day one Bravo player, you know, literally thousands of games under his belt. This is, uh, this is where all that time, I don't know how long uh, Nick's been playing Prism, but obviously uh, Kale's been playing Bravo since the first set. So, um, you know, this, uh, these, this end of the day is where, you know, or those repetition, those reps that you've put in over, over the last few months, weeks, years, uh, th they kick in when you're at, when you your your mind is starting to fatigue. You're getting a little bit um, tired, but uh, of course, both these uh, both these guys are going to have tomorrow on their mind and wanting to get the best possible chance and the highest uh, highest win rate uh, going into this uh, day two. All right, so the action's actually started on Nick here, and he is making some prismatic shields. Now, um, I haven't played a lot of uh, classic constructed. Um, what have you seen them a classic construction? Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, this is this is you're going to see this with the um, the Prism deck against Bravo because obviously Bravo does have a lot of uh, six plus attacks, so you're not going to see a lot. Oh, uh, there is a judge call here, Oof. but uh, Nick has called. He's called on himself. He's draw. He's drawn an extra card. He hasn't looked at them yet. No, he. I don't. I don't. Oh, I, I don't think he has. He has. Yeah, this is, this is really good. This is like, he's realized he's made an error. He's called the judge on himself yeah. straight away. Yeah. Oof, and then you see in his hand, he, there's a library there, which could be very interesting. That, okay, there's a... Uh, Kale, Kale always liking to, to poke the, uh, <laughs> poke, <laughs> poke the hornet's nest. Hey, UK players, don't let him away. Don't let him away with that. <laughs> don't let him away with that. Just because we had the... Just because Kale's played since day one. Yeah. And so, of course, this is a dominated Spinal Crush coming in now. So, um, in the game we saw with um, uh, Kiki and Jono, Jono Chaplow, um, it was all about the dominated attacks, and Spinal mm. Crush turned up just uh, three times in that yeah. match. Um, so Kale's already off to the off yeah. to the races, but um, and it's good there. He got he got a couple of um, points of damage through. Got rid of those uh, those shields too, which uh, which is handy. Which is, which is a beauty, man. No crush effect um, um, because the the shields did their job. Um, but we'll we'll see what else happens. Yeah, this is going to be the heavy aura based um, stra strategy. <coughs> and you see Kale just swinging swinging in there with the hammer on the aura, I believe is. Uh, yeah. So. Um, the aura can be targeted, and obviously, when the uh, when the attack goes in, it pops uh, pops the aura, but also um, you know kind of ends the attack. Yeah. Um, my question then, here is: oh, Is Nic this going to be a real grind here Nicholas, with your auras? Uh, Nick's uh, um, playing the halo there. I pop the halo. That puts a um, uh, it puts a card underneath um, prism. Um, well, it puts a um, card you know, into soul. a soul, and then also um, tome of divinity here, drawing up. So um, he's going to have a huge hand. And let's see what happens next. Now, where did that caution go as well? I didn't see that. Yep. It's um, if you're asking what happened, um, Nick accidentally drew five cards, I see. Um, yeah, but he hadn't seen them and called the judge yeah. on himself. Yeah. Genesis here. Oh, beautiful. All right. And there's the caution was in the arsenal. Now this is, this is interesting because obviously regularly uh, Bravo doesn't run a lot of yellow. Um, although as I said, uh, Kale has done a lot of uh, a lot of uh, practice uh, into this matchup. So uh, so oh. it'll be interesting to see how he's sideboarded for this uh, on whether or not he's got he's got a plan to get rid of the library. 
Well, it, it is kind of interesting because, um, you know, did these guys expect, uh, you know, like Kale is somebody, you know, uh, a very high level player. Yeah. Did he expect, because pr prism is not a big part of the field. There's um, six prisms. Sure, it, but I bet it has like the season before, the season before this, uh, obviously prism was very, very high. Uh, in play and uh, and a lot of a lot of key players here in New Zealand played a lot of prism and and also you've got to remember that we uh, a lot of the players have been sort of stuck in lockdown here in New Zealand and and I feel like a bunch of people may have gone gone back to decks that they were uh, comfortable with because they haven't had necessarily had the uh, had the amount of practice. Uh, they would like going coming into this uh, into this national season. Mm. Now, so Genesis is uh, gone, uh, of course, because of its spectra ability. Um, and Nick is still just sitting with only one card in the soul. But um, so um, I see. There's a question there. What does the judge do when someone overdraws? The, the um, what happened here was he hadn't looked at the card, so he realised he'd uh, drawn it, and they were face down. He hadn't looked at them, so. So they just replaced uh, the the bottom card uh, with without a penalty. Had he looked at his hand, though, he would he, there would have been a penalty um, given to him. Oh, and uh, he, got, he got yellowed. Yeah. Um, caution is um, sorry. The, um, the what did I say? Uh, the library is down. So yeah. I don't know why I was calling it caution. The library is down. <laughs> It's, uh, it's those sideways cards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know when somebody's got uh, one of them in your hand, you know, because yeah. yeah, uh, I would do that all the time yeah. if I was playing it. I'd I, I see yellow and bo body mint. Yeah, this this is what I'm saying. And Kale has has uh, put a lot of time and effort into into this uh, this particular matchup because it is it was so hard for Bravo. Um, and so you will see this is the, the these are the sideboard tricks that that yellow embodiment and stuff. The, he would have been playing to that specifically to help with the the library matchup. Now, um, the other thing that's been quite significant is again, um, there's an, he's hit. Uh, he's now up to six spectral shields, six, which is pretty significant. Um, that's more than I've ever had in the game. Yeah. Blessings, and we see here. Here comes the sentinel out. So um, Sentinel, Arclight Sentinel pops out. So um, if Arclight Sentinel is in the arena, when the opponent announces an attack, you know, they've got to choose Arclight Sentinel as yeah. a, the target of attack. So this um, kind of protects the, the Spectral Shield tokens. And then, then and Hammer gets rid of it, but those yeah. Shield tokens are still there. And six is a pretty significant number. Yeah, and this is where that Luminaris is. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty brutal. <laughs> <laughs> seven now, seven now, and you see there, Kale just taking, uh, taking all seven uh, of the attacks. Obviously, both these players have played a lot of this matchup, so it is uh, moving quite quickly. Yeah. Uh, you'll see there, Kale gained some life. Oh no, d no, he actually whiffed, did he? Um, I didn't. I didn't see, get to see it quite yeah. then, but. Uh Oh, um, here we go. R um, Rouse the Ancient showing a crippling crush, and it looks like possibly a dis uh, disable behind it. Hard yeah. to tell with the way he stacked it. Yeah, um, Rouse the Ancients is pretty neat. It was an addition um, for Guardian um, in, uh, in Monarch. Monarch. Yeah. Um, and just like, you know, it's perfect Guardian yeah. fodder. Um, and again, this is, this is kind of what. Um, this is kind of what uh, he needs in this matchup. He needs to get uh, be able to attack and get through some of those tokens. So he, he's going to force uh, force uh, some damage through. There we see um, Soul Shield. Um, so he's only he only got rid of one one uh, token, but then he gets oh. to swing with the hammer. He's got to go again. Oh, and, and another tome card draw here for for Nick. And blocking hard, as somebody, as people said in the chat, Prism yeah. is definitely blocking hard here. Um, keeping those six, uh, keeping the, yeah, uh, Spectral Shield tokens. I could never keep Spectral Shield tokens yeah, around for a okay. time, and now he's up to seven again, so yeah. um, unless uh, Cal can really I mean, get in here, yeah. this, this and, is going to be rough. And again, this is what, this is what we've seen um, 
in the Bravo Prism Max chip. So it is, it is just all aura based um, stuff and uh, just trying trying to build up those auras. Take it's just taking a bunch of damage. No, Get, um, gets gets that energy pot out as well. Just yeah, it is. It's looking tough for Kale, but you know. Carol's uh, well. The, his deck's gonna. His deck still has some life gain. Yeah. Um. And it, so, like, I don't think he's out. And like, Crippen crushes. Uh, any number of Crippen crushes, um, can turn the match around. Yeah. And, and here oh, we come. Speak of a devil, and he will appear. Number one with a bullet for uh, for Bravo. Um, as long as Bravo's been around, Crippen Crush has been his best friend. Yeah. So um, let's see and how he deals with it now. Does he have the big defense reaction? Yeah. But, you know, uh, Nick's in a good position, especially just having it be able to have that turn of the energy yeah. pot out, but is he going to lose all the spectral shields? Yeah, I mean, and, th and this is where Kale's uh, banking on. It's, it's why he hasn't dominated. He wants he wants to get cards out of Nicholas's hand, but... Um, so he's definitely valuing the, the cards in hand yeah. over getting rid of the spectral shields. Because also, you know, uh, as a Guardian player, kale has got to keep him, you know, obviously it's keeping in mind his ability to, to actually fatigue his opponent. Yeah, know. yeah. You know, and I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if, uh, you know, Kale just kept most of his, his deck in and, you know, you know. Oh, there we go. And we see, uh, we see uh, those. However, he Those does have another aura out. Yeah. He does have another aura out now. I'm not sure uh, what that one is, Ian. What is that aura? I'm not sure. It's very pretty. Can't tell if it's cold for. So, blessings there. So, the, the life title, I think, is a little bit deceptive yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Um, and Kale, and Kale's a, a, a great uh, proponent of using his life as a as a as a resource. Um, and again, as we see, another another um, blessing here for another another swing with a hammer, taking out the aura. Merciful retribution. That's what it was. Uh, so, do see a defense reaction in his uh, in his hand. Oh, and there comes a herald. And there we are. Not unexpected. And we'll see what the result is here. Yeah, well, this is a this first first block with the equipment for Cal. Again, holding on to that that um, equipment for as long as he can. Gains one back off that uh, that blue blessings. Yeah, oh, well, nice. Mage Master's thing. boost. Oh, there we are. To <laughs> Tome of Fendel to, to gain, gain a little bit more. A little bit of life. Is he uh, with one card in hand, I believe? He's yeah. gaining three. I mean, I was like, when you can gain like a nice, uh, a nice yeah. like five, but um, we'll take three. We'll take three here. Yeah. Um, and and it's got to go again off Mage Master boots, so. Yeah. Thanks. Boots, boots has done its job. Expect to swing back now. Oh, Terra Sunder with with the hammer. This is this is great. Because of course this is uh, this is going to have dominate and uh, it's going to. But oh, there we are, it, oh, covered up by that um, that soul shield. That that is uh, that is great uh, great timed uh, defense reaction there by Nick. Yeah, I, I do love Terra Sunder because you know when I think when we first saw it in uh, the spoilers, you know we described it as you know construct your own uh, crippling crush. Um, but again, you know it's a card that you have to you know add yeah. to another attack to to get it off. So I think another thing I think Kale's going to be a little bit worried with those uh, seeing two e pots on the on the other side of the field though. And here we are, choke slam. I think that's in blue though. Um, still. Yeah. Still warrants some attention from Nick. Oh, no, he just he just takes it. Oh, and gets a pummel in. That is, that is great. That's good. Nice although one. we see that uh, Nick's got, uh, 
that third ton of Defendity in his hand. So what what is he going to get rid of? Let's say he's going to pick out a Herald. Yeah. Certainly not the Tome. Uh, the, the thing I'd love to see him escape. Oh. And then we see, and then we see uh, the E pots oh. bring out the Genesis. That is nice. Uh, end of Cal's turn. He gets to put a card under their Spectral Shield. Yeah. Draw up. Uh, I am I am liking this. We'll see how long he can keep the Genesis uh, around for. Yeah. I mean, these these auras are, you know, Spectra is delicate. Oh, there is some, there is some attacking. There's some cards thrown down there. Um, Arkwright Sentinel, uh, beautiful Arkwright Sentinel, which uh, you might notice is signed by uh, Sam Yang. There goes the Sentinel, but it's done its job. It's uh, it pretty much in the fact, more than anything, it is that it protected that Genesis. Yeah, no, um, the Genesis, uh, if Cal can shift them every turn, um, obviously, the, you know, that is great. Um, but like that Genesis hanging around up turn. And also, I notice there's now three cards under the soul. And I mm. see a Celestial Cataclysm. Yeah, and here it comes. Ah, this, this is great. This is what I wanted to see. Because yeah. Celestial Cataclysm was like a, you know, a big card. It's also like, it's a beautiful card. Um, and gets gets a tear of Sunday out of, uh, out of Cal to, to block. I know he would. I won't be happy to have to lose that, but you know, it's oh, well. done its job. Oh, well, well played for Kale holding on to, holding on to the six there, using the Terra Sunder, f knowing that uh, that there was possibly another big, another big card coming, so being able to cap it with the Phantasm. Okay. Um, yeah, Genesis. Uh, I mean, was Genesis round long enough for uh, to do the damage? I don't know yet. Yeah. Um, uh, it's fairly even, like the life totals is, is crazy. And here we go. All right, some more blocking. Yeah, but um, pretty much, you know, Kale's used a lot of his, a lot of his um, ha um, life gain options now, so. So, but there we are, there's a remembrance. Oh, Spinal Crush dominated. This is, uh, this is, this is big. Just checking oh, that. Is that a, there. Was that a soul shield and a, a third soul shield in uh, Nicholas's oh, arsenal? Uh, I can't tell them. All I can see is, of course, there's a, there's definitely a sink. Um, there's a sink in hand there. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, soul shield, sink below, covers it up. Uh, of course, uh, nicely he gets the, the triggered ability off the or the ability. Sorry, I shouldn't say triggered, but the ability off um, off sync below gets to uh, move a card around, and we're back to of course uh, one card in the soul. Yeah. yeah, and that's and he's got a celestial cataclysm in his hand, which uh, <laughs> not as good when uh, you don't when you don't have the soul to to back it up. Um, yeah. And of course, that is all three of the soul shields um, gone. So Kale will be very well aware of that as well. And here we come with the crippling, crippling, knowing, oh. knowing that the big uh, defense reactions have gone. He's uh, going to be hoping to uh, get through on that. All right, the special shields do their job. Yeah. Kale, of course, taking some damage, of course, because of that other aura in play. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't really see it, but I would be interested to see what the libraries are like. Kale's library still seems yeah. flush, but I can't quite see Nick Holdings. It doesn't... It looks... It's looking pretty low. It doesn't look as flush, but it, yeah. it could be there. And, you know, this is where Kale... Oh, this is where Kale wants to be. He will last to... He will last to that late game. Yeah. Um, I'm really glad I got to see a Celestial Cataclysm fire off in, yeah. in a, at a level of this event. Um, but yeah, I, I, I can't help, you know, there's no way I can see how this match is, is going to turn. Um, that Celestial Quaticism turn didn't seem to be as big. Um, Kale's life total is still pretty healthy. As, as, yeah. as you mentioned, like, um, uh, how many blessings does he have left? Yeah. So, gets rid of one, but Nicholas brings another one into play. <laughs> that is the, the ever... If a prison aura that is prison. Again, as I said though, Kale has played this match. He he practiced a lot to get this match up. <coughs> Maybe not so much in his favour per se, but getting getting it um, as as uh, 
as favourable as it could be. Um, I know he's gone through a lot of iterations of sideboard uh, to to uh, yeah. try and uh, deal with Prism. All right, Hammer's going for it. Yeah. Of course, it goes under a soul. And oh, wow. and, oh, two more auras. This is this is where it's getting right. it's starting to get tough. But um, yeah, it's a, it's not something I really thought of. But uh, you know, it's death by a thousand auras here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, people used to complain about Kadachis. <laughs> These light, uh, oh, and then people complained about uh, the pistol, yeah, uh, yeah. but now it's auras. But yeah. um, uh, you know, as again, most people in this tournament won't have faced uh, Prism um, just because of the, the small numbers. Again, yeah. there's, there's not a huge amount of Bravo players, and yeah. I mean, you know, it's um, the biggest numbers are this, this yeah. and Briar. Yeah. I'm, I was actually a bit surprised that there was so much Viscerai actually. That uh, oh, I'm down with Viscerai. Viscerai yeah. is, I, I always love Viscerai. All right, Kieran is just, well, his soul, his soul is almost barren, um, yeah. but it's paying off in terms of, um, of the attacks here. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then Kale just uh, putting, stuff, yeah, putting stuff in front of these, uh, but these did, auras, and it, 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 it is, they're starting to mount up again. Yeah, um, but to be honest, I'm not. I'm not concerned. Uh, like, uh, obviously, a little bit concerned. But you know, Cal knows what he's doing. If he's he's going to pull something out, um, I'm going to trust. And you see, trust bo Cal both here. these players playing at a, a, at quite a, a high a high um, rate. Um, I believe uh, I see someone asking about the Tunic Sushi Night Man. If you go to Sushi Night Gaming on Facebook, I believe they uh, you can uh, message them about um, these mats are for sale. So uh, you can mention them on the, on there. Oh, again though, this is uh, this is the, the death by a thousand light cuts. Uh, yeah, we'll see if because uh, again, as we, as we said, uh, Kale's used so much of his life gain already. Um, and now, every turn, Nicholas is just uh, getting to chip away, chip away. All right, we'll see. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe this is uh, this is the time. I yeah. know uh, Kale's. I trust in Kale, but, um, but, but the yeah. life total swung a lot here, and Kale's. Uh, you know, I was kind of saying uh, the momentum is definitely. Yeah, and then you see, it's it's just Kale's just. Uh, there's only so much Kale can uh, put in front. And, uh, and take each turn. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, finally didn't go into the soul, but yeah, he's yeah. got a fully stopped soul. Yeah. Um, he can Kale's throw. Out of oh. armor. So yeah, he's turned uh, the Dreamweavers on. Dreamweavers are yeah. on. But oh. staunch response, that's solid. Oh. Pummel. <laughs> oh, and Kale. Was, was that a. Yeah, he got him. Kale is. <laughs> I, I think more so than losing to uh, Prism, losing to a pummel is probably going <laughs> to okay. yeah. hurt Kale. But um, well done to, to Nicholas. Uh, Kale putting up a valiant effort and, of course, a very tough matchup for Bravo. Um, but uh, Nicholas pulls out the win, goes to 7-0. and Kale's still sitting pretty, pretty at 6-1 and one here. Uh, great, great matchup um, on, on just how you can play this matchup but again as I said it, it, the aura strategy is very much uh, in favor of the prison player in this matchup and, and while Kale fought valiantly it was just too much in the end for him to overcome yeah um, yeah insult to injury with that pummel but you can see you can see like that I think if you have a look at the phone there you can see the life totals 19 to 1 so you can just see as you know Kale had to um, preserve his life total for a way, look for any way out, and yeah. that staunch response was pretty nice, but it um, couldn't it couldn't staunch yeah. the bleeding <laughs> yep. um, in this case. But um, yeah. uh, I mean, Kale's going to have a long. Um, I'm sure Kale's probably a little stung by this and thinking about uh, well, I uh, mean, how he can what what he can do to this. Yeah. You know, the I mean, up. the thing is, he's just got to shake it off. There's still two more rounds um, before the end of. Uh, play today he needs to he needs to win those out just to guarantee getting making i mean he's in a good spot but he ne he needs to not let this be the start of a slide yeah so he just needs to sort of shake this one off and uh, and and focus on the final two rounds um of course we've got two more rounds we will be uh, back with the rounds but before we go just a reminder uh there is a lot of flesh and blood to be played around the world coming up of course uh 
uh, ProQuest is, is about to hit um, worldwide, um, you know, with PTIs available from that. That's, well, sorry. There's so pro, much. Pro, um, pro, pro Tour um, invitations, I should say. Um, of course, we've got the Farewell to Race drafts next week happening around the, uh, around the world, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, so, yeah, this is a great time to be yeah. a fan of FAB, and uh, you should is. definitely hit up that event locator on fabtcg.com to find uh, where, where your closest events are and get out and play some, uh, and some, yeah. some cards in the flesh and blood. Now, just, just remember, even if, you, even if you can't get to some of the bigger events, Stores around the world uh, are running Armory events, and um, the January um, season's almost over. Uh, but February, um, fantastic Armory kit uh, arriving your way as the Icelander yeah. um, Armory kit, where you can get her um, not only her amazing play map done by artist Steve Argyle, you can get cold foil copies yeah. um, of her card um, along with rainbow foil. So if, if you can't make the big events, uh, make sure you turn up to your local LGS. That's um, right, and of course the excitement that is uh, only a couple of weeks away, Everfest. Uh, we are we are super excited about that. Of course, two days two days away it starts spoiler se season in uh, in full in full steam. Uh, can, can we spoil? Can we? Uh, we can, can we spoil. Our we can spoil that. Uh, you should check out Radio Reflex's uh, um, Facebook page and our YouTube channel. We have got a day one. Yeah. Uh, a preview. We are, we are, as the Usos would say, it's that day one ish. Yeah. Uh, we will be bringing uh, some uh, some uh, some spice on the twenty fourth. Uh, so in, in two days time. Uh, but right now we're gonna we're gonna leave you for a quick break, and we will be back with round eight.